Welcome to One on One, coming to you from Baraton TV, broadcasting from the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. We are with Professor F.O. Coming to us from Babcock University in Nigeria. He was also born and brought up in Nigeria. He's gone to school, including Fort Hare in South Africa. Great school. And he was telling us a story of his life, and we have learned a lot. And our focus was going into research, because we know many of our viewers are also scholars. Yeah. And, the, and, and some are pursuing master's programs, bachelor's programs, PhD. They also want to be professors. Yeah. And so uh, you were telling us the story of your PhD. We have talked about writing papers and uh, we were talking about publishing the last time. Yeah. Yes. So when I have a manuscript, prof, I have it now, I've written, you said that let's just shoot it. Shoot it. Don't be afraid. Mm -mm. Don't fear rejection. In fact, if you want to shoot it, yes. Hip eye. Yes. The highest possible. The highest possible. Go for the most professional and give them. And don't be disappointed if you are rejected. Mm -hmm. Rejection mm -hmm. is part of the experience. So if you are rejected, it's normal. Every it's normal. Honestly, if I'm mm -hmm. telling you I've never been rejected, I'm lying. So you've experienced I've rejection. I've been purpose. rejected many times. So, 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 viewer, if you are rejected, you don't go and keep quiet for two years mm -mm. nursing the rejection. Mm -mm. No. What do you do? You well, correct? I corrected myself. I, 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 I read the corrections. Mm -hmm. I adopted the, the submissions. Mm -hmm. I inserted into my manuscript mm -hmm. and I shoot again. Wow. No giving up. No giving up. Even when I shot again, yes. there were times I still got my rejection. Mm -hmm. I will now relax, mm -hmm. ask myself, what do I have to do that I have not done on this manuscript? And the good thing is that you will always get the comments back telling you what, what to, to do. do. Are there times when the comments are amorphous? You know, the, Why the, com the comments are what? Amorphous. They are not clear. You know, oh, yeah. are, the reviewers are yeah. telling you things. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. There are times they come like that. Yeah. And I must also tell you, mm -hmm. I've had publications, I've had my manuscripts published mm -hmm. in high impact factor journals mm -hmm. with one comment mm -hmm. either on them or it is even as it is, the comment is coming accept as it is okay wow i can talk about 10 or 12 of my manuscripts accept as, as it, it is. is wow so tell us the story of your PhD. We were still there <laughs> we, 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 we diverted into well you know <laughs> Yeah. Like I told you, when mm -hmm. I was told that I should do my PhD and get out of Yes. I kept working, I kept writing, I kept working, I kept 19 publishing. months. And you were done. And I was done. Sacrifice so, sleep, sacrifice food. Name it. And several sacrifices. And it delivered. Yep. So one day, you know, normally it's our culture. By June, mm -hmm. your supervisor will ask you to submit your thesis. Yes. As of that June, mm. I was still working in the lab. Okay. And my supervisor called me one day and said, F.O., mm. that was first week in July in 2012. Um, mm. When are you submitting your thesis? I said, Prof, um, we're in the meeting. Mm. And I did like this, um, Prof, I'll be submitting my thesis in 48 hours beginning from yesterday. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Is your thesis ready? Bro, I'll submit my thesis in 48 hours beginning from yesterday. From yesterday. <laughs> Immediately we finished the meeting. Yeah. Because my thesis was already. Yes. Was ready. Yes. Immediately we finished the meeting. Mm. I just waited for about 30 minutes and I picked my thesis. Of about 465 pages. Yes. Wow. And I took it to my supervisor and I said, Prof, mm. thank you very much for the opportunity to learn under your tutelage. Mm. Here is my thesis. 465 pages. And that was two-thirds of my PhD material as a result. Yes. He looked at me and said, F.O., who will read this? this? Is this your thesis? I said, yes. Who will read it? <laughs> I said, that's my thesis. Yeah. And he is supposed to read. 
yes. and he left it on his table. Yes. And uh, another prof came in the next day. That person looked at the thesis and said, is this somebody's thesis? <laughs> and he said, that is F.O.'s thesis. Yeah. Nobody will read this. Nobody will read this. This is... Yeah. Oh. They thought the another prof, another prof went to his office mm. and saw his... Made the same comment. Mm. Immediately that one was leaving his office, he called me. F, oh, come and carry your thesis. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody's reading this thing. Prof, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. He said, go and put all your publications that you have, that you have had, mm -hmm. put them together, bind them together. Mm -hmm. Write mini introduction, write mini conclusion. Yes. Bind them together and submit. And these were the 18 publications? Put them I had a, by then, yes. I removed about maybe about three or four yes. from it. And so you bound them? I bound them. With an introduction and a conclusion? And I went and I dropped it on his table. Yeah. He looked at it and said, but FYI I told you, because my thesis was still this <laughs> yeah. size. But I told you to go and reduce this thing. Yeah. I said, prove I acted according to the instruction. Yes. And now, you know, he had other thesis behind him. Mm. He said, check the thesis behind you, yes. behind me. Uh, and the sh on the shelf behind. See, it's the shelf behind, behind me. And see if, any, if your thesis is smaller or bigger or whatever. I said, bro, the size, yeah. I don't have any comments, sir. <laughs> All I want to say is thank you for the opportunity to express myself. Yes. As a master's student, mm -hmm. you can express yourself. Uh -huh. As a PhD student, you, you can, can ex express yourself. Yes. As a researcher, you can express yourself. You, must you be don't free. have limitation. You must be free to express yourself. And I must confess to you, mm. I'm still publishing out of my PhD work, even now. Wow. Now, this work, about, uh, I, I was interested, the, the title had to do with hubs? Yeah. Uh -huh. what, what was the title again? It was Biological Activity uh -huh. and Pharmacological Effects. <laughs> Okay. Of medicinal plants, of some selected medicinal plants. Okay. So I worked on three medicinal plants. Okay. Which one and which one? I worked on Acacia miansi. Mm -hmm. I worked on Zizipos mucronata. Mm -hmm. I, work, I worked on Erythrina kafra. And All so... are medicinal plants in South Africa. Okay. They are used in the treatment of gastroenteritis. Okay. Gastroenteric infections. Yes. yes. So I worked on them. But by the time I pull all things together, mm -hmm. I could only report two okay. for my PhD because my thesis was... Yeah, it was getting larger. Wow. Now, now tell us something. You know, we, we live in a community where people are now believing that herbal is better than Western. You yep. know, they call it uh, the, the, the medicine we get from yep. the chemist, from the yep. pharmacy. I don't know. What, what, what do you have to say? So people well, go to this... Uh, uh, I don't know how it's practice here. Uh -huh. But one thing I know is that, and I want to tell the world is that, even from the Bible, mm. God gave us hub mm -hmm. to live on. Mm -hmm. Most of the drugs that we're talking about, that we buy from pharmaceutical industries yes. and the likes, most of them also came from, from, the, the, hub. from the hub. Yeah. So if you have come in a purified form yes. from the hub, yeah. Why don't, you, why don't you go for the hub? Okay. We talk about, I, I mentioned something on isolation. Yes. We just took a fraction of the component that is present in, in the leaf, in the back, in the root. A fraction. Just a fraction. But when you take the bark, mm. you are having the, the bark. And we talk about synergistic effects. Yes. All things in the plant work together. You don't like drug. You don't like ab, yet you eat vegetable. <laughs> which, which is also a hub. So yeah. you are also a part of the people living in the harbour world. <laughs> That's the truth. Wow, wow. You don't like drugs? Yes. Fine. Yes. Yet you eat vegetable? You are still taking them. You are still taking them. Now, now Prof, yeah. because the issue of herbs, you are saying that there are herbs everywhere. When I'm taking vegetable, it's herbs. It's herbs. I mean, the drugs are derived from, from these the herbs. herbs. Yes. So tell us, you, 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 you are telling us something about toxicity. Most, if you, if you look at, like I said, the Bible in Ecclesiastes says, Nine, yeah. Nine. Mm. says you, human being, mm -hmm. and the goats, mm. we had the same. Okay. They live, mm. you live. Mm -hmm. They die, 
they die. Mm. Dust are you, dust you return. Mm. Dust are they, dust they, they return. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Many of them take many leaves. Mm -hmm. Have you put? Have you seen any of them at your dining table? <laughs> have you seen any of them at the chemist? Mm -hmm. Many of them take leaves. Yes. And most of the leaves they take, mm -hmm. they hit it raw. As it is. And they do not die. Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. Because that leaf is less, is not so toxic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, leaf, that leaf is a herb. Mm -hmm. That's one, number one. Mm -hmm. In research also, mm -hmm. we have what we call animal experiments. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. To test, to test for the toxicity, the acute toxicity, mm -hmm. the chronic toxicity of a plant. Before it is given to a human being. Because the before, before it is considered as a plant meant for remediation. Uh -huh. so, so and I want you... to tell you that uh -huh. the concentration at which these animals were fed mm -hmm. in the lab, mm -hmm. you can't have that concentration in your system. I mean, you, you, you will not survive. You will not survive. There is no way mm. we can inject you as an individual. Yes. We could have injected an animal, animal um, white rat, yes. winter rat. Yes. There is no way we will inject them with 800 grams yes. of a dose. Yes. Because that means that's the drug concentration we want to inject in them. Yes. And we inject it into them and they will not die. Some will not die. Yes. And, if, and, and they will leave. And yet you need less than that. You need less than that. Wow. So what, tell us about your story now. We, we were we, on your PhD. For my PhD. Did they accept these when you now bound the... When I bound it and, you know, in South Africa, they send your thesis to different countries. Yes. For external examiners, assessor. Yes. Number one comment from my external assessor was that if this guy could... Register in February and is submitting this in about a space of about one, two years. Mm -hmm. Send him back to the lab. Mm -hmm. Let him go and work more. Because this guy is too prolific. Mm -hmm. As well said, his tenure has expired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he wants to come for postdoctoral, for postdoctoral fellowship? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but otherwise... Time up. That's number one. Yes. Number two was that when my thesis was sent out, yes. came in almost with the same comment that if this guy has done this area and he has published it, if he has done this area and he has published it, if he has done this and he has published this, mm -hmm. what comment do we have to make again? So you are cleared. And the same thing I'm telling you is what I'm telling the, my viewer. Yes. The MSc students, the PhD students, Yes. if you are tested outside yes. and you are found worthy the internal examination is just a passage for yes. you yes so you must be found worthy outside and external examination is very important it's very important it, it gives objectivity to the process as simple as ABC. yes so so you graduated i graduated and lo and behold i am really enjoying being and headed back to nigeria back to nigeria then where did you work I work in Bapok University, Elishon Remo, Ogun State, Nigeria. Okay. It's, it's, it's a seventh day Adventist university. Institution, university. How many students do you have on campus? Uh, currently, we have grown to, the, to an average of about 12,000 students population. 12,000 students? Yes. Seventh day Adventist University in Nigeria, yes, Bapok. Bapok University. And you have risen through the ranks. I rose from the position of an assistant lecturer yes. to this level in which I am. Wow. Congratulations, Prof. Thank you very much. There are many lecturers, assistant lecturers, senior lecturers who wish to get where you are. Just follow the, the blueprints. Have interest. Yes. And pursue your interest. Pursue your interest. All the way to the there end. Is in, if you have chosen to be in the university yes as a lecturer yes there is no two way to growing just one way uh -huh. and that is research and development research and publishing research and publishing the number of years does not count publish and one of the things that i have found in the global sense is mm. 
people prefer promotion to career? Because you know, promotion comes with the title, senior lecturer. Prof. Professor. Many professors could not profess. <laughs> <laughs> that many professors could not profess. Yes. What, what, yet they are professors. Yet they are professors. Mm -hmm. You may ask me why they could not profess. Yeah, that, that's why I'm listening. Put their names on the, on the web. And uh, you find them probably as um, a television presenter or a yeah. whatever, or a preacher uh -huh. or whatever. But not in the academic world. Empty. But today I'm glad because Adventist institutions are gradually get, getting it. Yes. Research is research. Mm. Preaching is preaching. Mm -hmm. Preaching is not research. Preaching is not research. And the fact that you are a pastor does not mean that you cannot research. No, you can research. So you can publish. Pastors are scholars. Good. Yes. But, but the so scholar... So what are the, the error yeah. when you are a pastor and probably you rose through the rank to the yeah. point because you are, in, you are vested in an institution and you yeah. grow to become a professor? No, no, no. You, you, should must, not show, you must show, show evidence, evidence that can be verified. That's it. Wow. And the only way you can do it is through writings, Writing publishing. and publishing. When you do that, you are worth the salt. Otherwise, you are good for... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I'm telling you that yeah. the MSC, the, if I... Look, even from the baby you have in your house, yes. as a pastor, as a teacher, as make them to tell, make them to understand that mm -hmm. it is important they read. Mm -hmm. When your child reads, yes. it speaks better. Even in the community, it has so, so, so what you're saying is that as we have children, we must encourage them to read. Do you know what? Yes. My son is 11 years old. Yes. Are you what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I discovered that it, dest it destroys one thing or the other that is electronics in my house. Mm -hmm. And one night I slept. Mm -hmm. Just around 11 o'clock, I woke up. Mm -hmm. And that thing said, why don't you help this little boy? Mm -hmm. And I called him, oh boy, come. This thing you've spoiled mm -hmm. and that you have transformed mm -hmm. into something else. Can we combine together and let us see how, how far we can go? Mm -hmm. And do you know what? I discovered that he's interested in electronics. Mm -hmm. The first thing I did in his last long vac was to register him mm -hmm. in, an, as an apprentice in mm -hmm. a shop. Aha, uh -huh, where electronics uh, stuff takes place. Yes. So that he can actually be exposed. Yes. Building him up. And Deliberate. You know the, and you know the funniest thing? Yes. When I spoke with the mom yesterday night, mm -hmm. the mom said, your son's fan, mm -hmm. little fan that he made, mm -hmm. was what they used in blue the heat before they sleep. Wow. From... My mentoring him and mm -hmm. interacting with him, mm -hmm. my house is almost out of national grid right now. Wow. Because from what we did, we decided that we can generate our own light in our house. Mm -hmm. And we started, we used our car battery mm -hmm. and we connect, we work up, work, our, work out our own inverter in the mm -hmm. house. And we have our own light for five hours in the night, in mm -hmm. the evening, and for two hours in the morning. Wow. That's all we need. We don't need life for, for television. In the last seven months, we, don't, we, did, we have never watched television in our house. Because you dared to try. Now, now, Prof, maybe one more thing our viewer needs to know. What's your relationship with God? Has it contributed anything ah. to your journey? I give God all the glory. Mm -hmm. I give God all the honor. Mm -hmm. I give God all the adoration because he's the only friend I have ever had mm -hmm. that has never disappointed me. Yes. He has taken me through all these things mm -hmm. by himself. It is God. It is God. When my professor told me, do whatever you want to do and get out of my lab, you know what I did? Mm -hmm. I went back to my room mm -hmm. that night yes. and I said, God, it is only you mm -hmm. who will be able to do this for me. Mm -hmm. I had my CV. Yes. My CV was so scanty. Uh -huh. And I knelt down by my bed. Yes. And I laid it on my bed. And I said, God, this is my CV. 
It is scanty. Please write my CV for me. Wow. You might never have heard that prayer before. No. You might have never had had somebody who have prayed that prayer before. I am saying it to the public. I said, God, write my CV for me. And God wrote it. God wrote my CV for me. And today you look at it and you say, this is written by God. In my own little way, I say, God, I thank you. Because as of today, I can boast of all 60 publications published. Out of the 60 publications, I should be having about 53 or 54 publications, having me as the first author mm -hmm. and having me uh, possibly as the correspondence author. Wow. Which means what I have, I have had on my CV yes. were my work. And God has done. Done, written, and approved by God. So God is the only, is the only friend I've ever had. So, so what you are telling some student somewhere or a faculty member who wants to, to climb up? Tell God by your right hand. Yes. Let him hold you. Don't hold God. Uh -huh. Let him lead you. Let him hold you. When God holds you. Yes. You get to a fearful, huh? where there are challenges. Through the valley of the shadow of through, death. When you go through the valley. God bless you. Yes. When you go through the valley of the shadow of death yes. and you see that face to face, yes. you will let go and say, God. <laughs> but when he's holding but you. When he's holding your hands. He will not let you go. Mm -mm. He will not let you go. Mm -mm. That is my experience. And so God, we, what we are telling our viewer is that yeah. God can help you through the process. It's not God can help you. Yeah. God will help you through the process process precisely but you must do your part you must do your part no procrastination mm -mm. and god will help mm -mm. you yes and you know what we have one culture yes the culture is to go down as an as a nigerian as an as a as a, as a kenyan yes. as a ugandan yes. to go down on our way and pray without walking and asking god to go when god told when god met with moses and god was to use moses mm. what was in moses hand he had a stick a staff yeah if today you have a stick in your hand, mm. you think it is not enough to defend you, to save you? It is enough. So it is what God finds in the hands of Moses that is used. So, so, so if God has found research in your hand, yes. he is going to use the research in your hand to, to progress, progress you. Listen, God is willing to help you, but you must have something in, in your hand. hand. Write an introduction, at least an introduction today. I mean, yeah. statement of the problem. Yeah. At least have it. Then pray. Do something every... Don't pray, then sleep. Planning mm -mm. to do it mm -mm. tomorrow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a wasted prayer. I still sleep in my office. Wow. I still walk overnight in my lab. Yes. I still do everything about my research. Even as I'm talking to you, my students are communicating on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ask him, yes, excuse me that we did it yesterday. What do you want us to do today? Wow. Even right here. Yes. Most of the times when I'm in the meeting, you see me occasionally, I look at my, my phone. Yes. It's because one or two or three persons is asking me of what to do about research in the home front. Wow. And when I get back home right now, yes. I'm going to sit and review everything they did, mm -hmm. correct, fix, and move on. Wow. Now, Prof, yeah. we need to end this. You need to say one word to the researchers, wannabe researchers, people who want to get where you are and want to, you know, just one last word that you want to say of encouragement to our viewer. Dear friends, with God, all things are possible. If God had made it possible for me with no background, mm. because I came from a poor home, mm -hmm. And he has taken me through this level. I don't know what your background is all about, but don't give up mm -hmm. because you can all, all it can, it, you can, you can only, it can only get better with the passage of each day. Keep moving, mm -hmm. keep trusting, keep relying on God and keep doing what you know how to do best because I have found myself doing what I love to do and I've loved it and I'll continue to love it. I do what I do in the best way. God bless you. Thank you so much, Prof. This is Baraton TV, here and here.